welcome back to Linda's Pantry. Today, as you see in the title, we're doing another grocery haul. And this is a Costco haul as well as a Trader Joe's haul. Both of them are kind of small, but this is average for us for a week to do something like this. I don't go to Trader Joe's that often though, so that's a once in a while thing and, and I pick up my favorite items over there. So I'm gonna start with this big bag of Skinny Pop and I did open it because I was curious how bland this was. It's kind of bland, but for a really um, good snack, it's only 35 calories. It's very low in sodium, no GMO. Um, it's got two huge bags in here, 35 calories per cup. So I can have a cup of this or two cups is plenty and um, really only be one point. So now if you go over that, the points go up. I think for three and three quarters points, it works out to be five points. So just measure it out. And I put them in little snack baggies, take them to work. So I'm gonna set this out of the way since it's so big. And that's from Costco. And Costco's bill was $107. So I'm gonna show you that first. And I've got Trader Joe's stuff still in the bag. I needed um, contact solution, so I got that. That has gone up. They had a screaming deal on asparagus. Usually this can be $6.99 for this bag. It was $3.49, so I swooped on that. We're gonna have some roasted asparagus with um, a salad tonight, but it's gonna be uh, on a bed of romaine, and this is uh, garlic shrimp polk. Uh, once in a while they have that, and um, you can buy it, it's delicious. So we'll have that over our bed of romaine and I'm gonna make a, uh, a cilantro lime, kind of a vinaigrette to go with that and we'll have the roasted asparagus on the side. And then I get my favorite red bell peppers and I plan to make uh, stuffed bell peppers this week but I also take these as snacks with the light laughing cow cheese on them. So they end up to be one point per wedge. And one wedge does uh, a, a whole bell pepper. You don't need more cheese than that. Uh, half and half, half, half gallon, half and half. It's always reasonable, way more reasonable than the grocery store. Blueberries, fresh blueberries. And we have these in the morning with yogurt. Uh, Michael actually likes uh, Cheerios with blueberries and bananas on it. So we do that quite often and I just realized I forgot bananas. I don't even remember seeing them. That's odd. I've got a container of organic spinach and we'll have a spinach salad this week as well. Um, some avocados and these are nice because you'll find one, these are pretty hard, but you'll find one, ooh, that one's gonna get ripe first. So they kind of ripen in sequence and I rarely um, waste any of that. I, we have them on sandwiches. Michael takes a, a sandwich almost every day. So sometimes I'll make a vegetarian sandwich with avocado, tomato, and cucumber, and he loves it. So he also likes Alfredo sauce. So I like to keep this in the pantry. So if I don't have time to make it from scratch, I've got it. Uh, I picked up some more Airborne. We are both um, work in the public, if that makes sense. And so um, being that I'm a hairstylist, uh, people come to my salon and sit down and, <laughs> and they're sick. Um, I wash my hands constantly all day long, but we still like to have the Airborne on hand. And another four pounds of butter, and this is unsalted butter. The last butter I got was salted. This is, I use this for baking. That way I control the salt. Monterey Jack cheese, because we're going to a fight night party and I'm gonna make some fun pizza knots. And uh, well, let's just say it's gonna be a cast iron full of these pizza knots and they're gonna have, they're gonna be stuffed with Jack cheese and it's gonna be delicious. So hopefully I can make a video of that, but if I can't, I'll try to remember to do that. Uh, a bag of these um, sun kiss smiles, that's cute. I love that they're calling them smiles. I can't see how many pounds this is. Uh, I think it's five pounds, but, and we eat these every day as well. 
good fiber. Okay, I've got the asparagus. Oh, pork tenderloin. And I'll, I'll split these up. There's two in each bag. But this was a really good price. It was $2.79 a pound. Can't really beat that um, unless you buy it from Zacon. <laughs> and right now in my area, they don't have tenderloins coming. I, um, I got the crowned pork racks instead. But I like having these on hand, especially if we have company. I can thaw it out quickly and make a delicious, very impressive meal with a pork tenderloin. So we uh, are going to have pork tenderloin this week and the rest I'll put in the freezer. I also bought a country French bread. It's soft and it, you can just tell this is going to be fantastic. And that's my Costco haul, which isn't that much, but $107 later, you know, it adds up. Um, and it's because everything has gone up so much. So let me move all this stuff out of the way and then we'll get into the Trader Joe bags. Mm -hmm. So we're back with our Trader Joe's haul. And I spent um, $34.07, so it wasn't that bad. But I love to go and shop their vegetables. Look at this beautiful head of cauliflower. Even at Walmart the other day, I saw them, they were $2.99 each. This was $1.99, yay. So I got it. We're going to have um, a shrimp fried rice, only I'm gonna replace the rice and make a cauliflower rice. And I will bring you along for that video because I want you to see how easy and delicious and low carb this is. So we've got our cauliflower. I love to get fennel bulbs at Trader Joe's. They're a very good price. Let's see, what did they cost me? Um, fennel, uh, two twenty nine, dollars And there's two huge bulbs. This is such a great way to have roasted vegetables to add some fennel and it just boosts the flavor level for everything on the platter to a whole new level. And I love it with roasted carrots and olive oil. And so I got this multicolored bag of carrots. And those were a dollar, $1.39. So for a bag of carrots. Um, and they're organic. Um, they taste fantastic. It's like, oh, that's what a carrot tastes like, because the stuff you, sometimes you get in the store, they don't taste all that great. And that's it for this bag. And this is 99% fat-free ground turkey, and I love how this tastes. And that's going to be the part of the filling for, and so will these carrots, for our stuffed bell peppers that we're going to have. And I'm going to dress it up a little bit with some pancetta. Here's another side. We've got some pretty small um, globe artichokes, and those were really reasonable, I believe. Let's see. The turkey breast, by the way, was for a pound, $4.99 a pound. And um, even just the Jenny O can be $6.99, $7.99 a pound. So uh, let's see, the artichokes, or $2.29 for four of those. And then my favorite corn, and this is in the frozen section, this is fire roasted corn. I'm gonna make a corn chowder here pretty quick or a really delicious salsa, I haven't decided yet. Um, but I'm gonna use this corn in whatever I decide. And for the rice part of our stuffed bell peppers, I got my favorite rice, and this is a jasmine brown rice. It is so, delicious. It's it's nutty, it stays separated and fluffy. It's fantastic for stir fries the next day or just a little salt and pepper. Very, very good whole grain. And then I got a couple of things that were kind of new to me. Actually, three things, but I was excited. First on the list is this multi-floral and clover honey. So I'm excited. I love flavored honeys. Um, I use honey in my tea, and I use honey for a lot of sweetener uh, purposes. And then I got a spicy brown mustard. These were so inexpensive. Let's see, the mustard was a little over a dollar. It just blows me away. And then last but not least, and these are my favorite, 
Oh, wait. I got to show you what so else I picked up. So this could be one this, of my new favorites. We'll see how it tastes when I open it. Um, it's reduced fat mayonnaise. And so uh, it's the lowest calories I've seen. 35 calories per tablespoon. Usually it's 50 for a low fat. Um, no saturated fat. So we're good there. And even if it's still a point, I feel like I'm reducing the calories a little bit whenever possible. Um, and these are lovely whole cherry stone clams. These are delicious. You make a clam chowder with this, you'll never want to use anything else. So I got two of those. And that's my Trader Joe haul, which honest and truly for the, the price and the quality of stuff that I got, um, the organic and just having really good uh, wholesome products, I think I did really well. Plus, I got to go by my favorite store, Hobby Lobby, and I bought, let me see if I, ah. <sighs> so those of you that have been watching my restoration videos um, might know that I'm restoring my vanity and I bought new knobs, four new knobs. And those, all four of those were uh, $24. And they're just gonna look spectacular on the vanity. So that being said, that's my shopping haul today. And I hope that if this inspires you to try some new things, that you'll leave me a comment in the comment section. Go check the links that I've left for you. I'll leave you a link to up in the iCard to some recipes that uh, might use some of these ingredients and or a playlist. And go check out my Amazon link. You can shop online. If you purchase through that link, it doesn't matter what you purchase. Um, it kicks back a little extra to me and helps our channel out and helps us keep bringing you new fresh content and uh, as always guys I can't wait to see you next time and I love the fact that you guys love these hauls because it is kind of fun to do them and it makes shopping a little bit more fun it wasn't so mundane today <laughs> or except I forgot the bananas oh well all right 